What are you doing, Jean? Oh, Jesus, Graham, I didn't see you there. Not much of a security system, then. Yeah, well, I haven't finished... Graham, how do you do that? Do what? Well, you program everything you're going to say into that voice box, right? So, how come you've always got the right sentences prepared, no matter which way the conversation goes? Just lucky, I suppose. Mm. Anyway, since you ask, I'm maintaining the CCTV. Yeah, well, those cameras aren't there to keep us safe, though, are they? They're there to spy on us. Damn right they're there to spy on you. You're the ones that cause all the mither. <laughs> Any objections? No. Good. Just so long as we can have a camera on you, too. Oh, bog off. Oh, go on, Jean. The little web come on the dressing table, you'll never even know it's there. Pack it in, Sid, or I'll stick it somewhere you will know about. She's probably got one up there already. And that's enough from you. How the hell do you do that? Can have another Bacardi and Coke, please, my van, will you? Coming right, sir. Oh, I wish there were more things for gay people to do around here. It's so lonely being the only gay in the village. <laughs> about there's loads of things to do you just gotta look in the local paper now lesbians bisexuals transgender oh there we are gay section oh there you go there's a gay night on thursdays at the bj in the bay pub in aberfan we oh no I, I couldn't possibly get over to aberfan we well, it's only half a mile away no the stone path is quite treacherous <laughs> Number four goes to Abba Van Wee. Oh, no, I couldn't possibly get on the bus. I'm gay, you see. <laughs> gay men's choir. Gay rambling society. Gay book club. Gay sex club. <laughs> gay nation of Islam. Uh, right. Well, I suppose I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. Well, since Cody was born, really. And I've made quite a lot of decisions. Decisions that have taken even me by surprise. <sighs> you see, when you have a baby, everything's wonderful and exciting for the first few months. And your life's full of cuddles and people sending you presents and telling you how lovely your baby is. And then reality sets in and you realise you're lugging carry cots and baby seats and four extra stone of belly around with you. <laughs> I'm telling you what, it's bloody knackering. <laughs> so I decided to get fit. I'm a mother now and I've got to start behaving like one. I've got to be responsible. Because it's not just me anymore, there's Cody. A child needs someone to look up to. Someone that will always be there for them. Only it's really hard. Because inside, I don't feel like a grown-up. I feel like a little girl that needs her mum. Only I haven't got one anymore. Of course you have. I don't feel like it. Right. I'm back. Fish and chips twice, was it? How are you, Mrs Clutterbrook? Champion, lass. It's good to see you back. That's £6.30. But six pounds to you. Oh, it's a good joke. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah. And there's twenty pounds for you to cover the two hours that you worked. Now get your coat, cos you're sacked. Hang on a minute. You can't just sack me. Really? Why not? Cos you ain't got a good enough reason. Oh, I think I have. Go on, then. Number one, you refuse to wear a uniform. Number two, you cheap, nasty perfumes polluting our fish. And number three, get this and get this good, cos I'm only going to say it once. Nobody. But nobody replaces me. Got it? You're a right bitch. Do you know that? Yeah. He's on Dimmy Jill. Torn Dimmy in a bra. I think he wants me to tell you. Tell me what, Linda? 
Oh, Jeff. Remember when you and Terry were meant to be in Bristol for Phantom on Ice? Yes. But you went on your own because you thought you might meet Michael Crawford. Yes, and I did. And I set the salon on fire. Yes. And Terry came and put it out. Yes. Well, he bought me a curry for the shock. And then we had a pizza in the park. I had it. And then I got a Chinese for the bus. Linda, is this going to take a long time? And then I come back here and I was sobbing with Timmy. And so he pulled me to his chest. And I could hear his heart thumping like a drum. And I told him he was lovely. And he, he told me I was lovely too. And then we done it. Just in the front. I offered him both, but he said he was happy with the front. I mean, Dennis only likes it in the back. Where in my house? In your bed. And on the stairs. And in the bed again. And in the cupboard where the hoover is. I'm sorry, Jill. I'm so sorry. Let me let her off to changing rooms, offering me services. I mean, let's face it, I'm a lot easier on the eye than Linda Barker. And they emailed back and said I should get some training. So I found the fella up. I said, look, love, what I've got is a gift. Did Jesus need training to turn the loaves into wine? <laughs> what did he say? What could he say, Charlie? Nothing. He just hung up on me. Sorry to hear about your fella. You know, dying and that. Oh, she's dead good with them chopsticks, isn't she? Mm. I observe other people's customs intricately, Liz. Whenever I visit a Hindu country, I'm always very clear-cut about which hands for me naan bread and which ones for me arse. Water chestnuts, anyone? Why I married you? <laughs> What's wrong with an honest day's work, huh? I can't work my back. Can't do nothing. Can't finish that bastard kitchen. Can't Peter get it done. Can't do me. Fuck all. I showed you the world. With the fucking army. Yeah? And don't start in with your fucking army bollocks now, good boy. You told me you was going to be an officer. You only made it a chef. Married to a cripple. When I think of who I could have had. You could have had no fucker. You're fat. Oh! Off. <laughs> aye, aye, it's the Lone Ranger. You still going to Blackpool? Ah, oh. that shows me, Mandy, and uh... hop in. Have you uh, ever been in a Jag before, Colin? No. Beautiful car. Beautiful car. The uh, missus thinks I've gone to Blackpool on business, don't you, man? Yeah. Falls for it every time the woman does. Well, you got to get yourself away now and again, haven't you, Cole? And what's the point of hanging around with the same woman when there's beauties like man walking about, eh? I, uh... Give our man the job because uh, she's got a little kid, haven't you? Yeah. And a bit of fun and all. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why some blokes haven't seen the light, Colin. Oh, shit off. Oh, uh, Ebony, for Christ's sake, were you pulling faces at that copper? Jesus, not again. Thomas, you bloody fool! You could have had a bit of cock, there! <laughs>